Hi, I am Dr. Rashmi Chaudhary, the consultant obstetrician and gynecologist working in Cloud9 Hospital, Bellandur, Bangalore. Ectopic pregnancy is also known as the extrauterine pregnancy. It is a state when the pregnancy is implanted or a fertilized ovum is implanted outside the uterine cavity. The incidence of ectopic pregnancy is around 1 to 2% of all pregnancies. It can happen in women of any reproductive age group. And the every year about 1 million new cases are being reported in India of ectopic pregnancies. For in human being, for pregnancy to happen, during the time of ovulation, the ovary releases a mature egg which is picked up by the fallopian tube and the sperms from the vagina, it migrates up and it travels in the uterine cavity and reaches the fallopian tube where it meets a mature ovum. Once this mature ovum and the sperm, they meet each other, the fertilization happens which normally happens in the outer one third of the fallopian tube. After fertilization, zygote is formed and this zygote or fertilized ovum remains in the fallopian tube for three to four days before it heads towards the uterine cavity. So, if there is any disturbance to the migration of the fertilized ovum towards the uterine cavity because of the disturbed hormonal status or because of the damaged fallopian tube, it will result in ectopic pregnancies. There are different types of ectopic pregnancies like the most common type of ectopic pregnancy is a fallopian tube pregnancy which is seen in about 97% of the cases. There can be interstitial pregnancy. Sometimes the pregnancy is implanted in the abdominal cavity. We call it as a abdominal pregnancy. Incidence is less than 1% cases. Sometimes ovarian pregnancy is also found. Its incidence is also very, very less. And here the pregnancy is implanted on one of the ovaries. And very rarely the Pregnancy is also seen in the cervical canal, which is a very, very dangerous situation. Diagnosis of ectopic pregnancy we mainly do by the clinical features, our beta HCG examination, as well as the transvaginal ultrasound. Most of the patients of ectopic pregnancy, they have a symptoms of irregular bleeding, slight spotting. Some patients, they might complain of missed period. Some patients might not complain, they will just say that they have a little scanty flow in this menstrual cycle. So our mind should be alert in those cases. Some patients might not present with any symptom, so they will just complain of weight discomfort or pain in the lower tummy. As well as there will be sudden dizziness spells, they might complain of dizziness or blackening in front of their eyes. After this, when these symptoms we first do a urine pregnancy test, and further confirmation, we do the beta HCG, which is a human chorionic gonadotrophins, the pregnancy hormones, which is also repeated after 48 hours. In ectopic pregnancy, there will be subnormal rise of the beta HCG level. As well as the clinical examination, the pelvic internal pelvic examination we do. And the mainstay of diagnosis of ectopic pregnancy depends upon the transvaginal ultrasound, which will show the empty uterine cavity, as well as mass in the adenexa. The treatment, once it is diagnosed, there is no way this pregnancy can continue. So the treatment is basically by the medical and the surgical methods. Medical methods we treat by injections, methotrexate, for which patient has to be hemodynamically stable. Patient should be readily available for follow-ups. But the advantage is great. With this, we can conserve the fallopian tube. But also the pregnancy sac size should be lesser than 3.5, beta HCG levels should be less than 5000. If patients follow all these criteria, we can subject them to medical management. The ultimate definitive therapy is the surgical man management, which mostly we are doing by laparoscopic method, either the laparoscopic salpingostomy or laparoscopic salpingectomy if the tube is badly damaged. Rarely the laparotomy is required to save the life of a woman if she comes in a very bad conditions with a ruptured fallopian tube and a massive hemoperitoneum.